Jadu 2 became synonymous with IPTV. But that's all changed because now there's Jadu 3. We've just taken delivery of a Jadu 3. Let's open the box and see what's in it. First, there's the instruction manual with an easy to follow guide on how to set up your Jadu 3. And then there's the Jadu 3 itself. Not only has it had a major technological upgrade, but has also had a cosmetic upgrade too. There is now a fully featured remote control unit, and then the AC adapter used to power the Jadu 3 itself. Then there is an ethernet cable, and a USB wireless device for connecting to your Wi-Fi. There is an HDMI cable, and last but not least, a composite video cable. Okay, let's set up the Jadu 3. The first thing to do is to plug in the power adapter. Next, we're going to connect up the audio and video. The preferred method for doing this is with the HDMI cable. Plug one end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the back of the Jadu 3. The other end is plugged into a spare HDMI port on your TV. The HDMI cable is the preferred method for connecting since it connects both audio and video and provides an HD high quality connection. If you don't have a spare HDMI port on your TV, then use the composite video cable. Just plug this end into this port on the Jadu 3 and the RCA cable connectors on the other end into the RCA ports on your TV, matching red to red, white to white and yellow to yellow. The last thing to do is to connect the Jadu 3 to the internet. There are two ways to do this. First, using the ethernet cable. Just connect one end of the ethernet cable to the ethernet port on the back of the Jadu 3 and the other end of the ethernet cable to a spare port on your router. Of course, many homes today are taking advantage of a wireless network. The Jadu 3 can do this too. Simply plug the wireless USB device into one of the two USB ports on the Jadu 3. This will allow you to take advantage of the convenience of your wireless internet network. With all the connections done, you now just have to power on the unit and you will be shown the home screen that looks like this. The next thing we'll do is take you through the configuration of your Jadu 3 and that will be covered in the next video.